old DMX overdosed. Let me give y'all motherfuckers a little bit of history on cocaine. Some of you niggas that never did cocaine, you're talking to a fucking expert if you don't see what the fuck my nose look like, right? It's very hard to overdose on fucking cocaine and crack unless you mainlining that shit. When you mainline that motherfucker, that's when you overdose. Look around. Y'all have really never seen a motherfucking crackhead overdose. You've really never seen a nigga that was sniffing overdose, okay? Every time you take a hit of cocaine, your heart arrhythmia goes fucking fucked up anyway because that's what the drug does to you. It fucking brings up, all right? So if any of you are out there saying, oh, DMX overdosed, it wasn't an overdose. It just would have happened that he had a heart attack while he was getting high because the cocaine might have motherfucking uh, did something to whatever what was going on, but it wasn't because of the fucking cocaine. You know how many times I done motherfucking got high like a motherfucking... I'm a skinny nigga, y'all see that? Been skinny. I used to sniff eight balls by my motherfucking self, and there'll come a point in, at when I'm sniffing this eight ball, my heart start jumping out my motherfucking chest, and I knew what to do for that. I'd go outside and freeze the motherfucking cold in my drawers and stand on the motherfucking patio. It's really a mental thing when it comes to your heart because the paranoia and the mental shit, it's really a mental fuck up where you start thinking something is wrong with you and then your brain start ba 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 ba. But then when you sit down and relax like I used to have to do when I sit on my patio on my fucking drawers in the freezing cold. And then once my heart start going back right, you know what? I go back in the house and I finish the ruts of that eight ball. And guess what? As many times as my heart did that irrhythm and bullshit, I'm here talking to you today. And so, I'm just seeing that y'all stop putting shit on my nigga. Stop putting shit on him. Don't, just because the nigga got high, don't mean that motherfuckers, and, and so what if he was getting high? Only way you gonna really overdose on cocaine, motherfucker, is mainlining that shit. Sniffing that shit might motherfucking give, add cause to whatever heart problems you got going on, all right? But that's about it. Sniffing the shit, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, you never seen a motherfucking crackhead motherfucking die of an overdose. Why? Because the high only lasts fucking 15 fucking minutes. That's why you see crackheads keep going and getting fucking new crack, new crack, new crack, new crack, new crack. Because you don't overdose on this shit. You just want more of it. And you're talking to a fucking expert right now. And I don't want you motherfuckers to be putting that shit on my nigga D. Alright? Fuck that. The same fucking label he wore on his back, I wear the same motherfucking label. Alright? But I want to put y'all niggas up on some shit, nigga. Rarely do you see a motherfucker overdose on some cocaine unless he's mainlining that motherfucker. Alright? You smoking crack? If your motherfucker sniffing, it may, sniffing may add on to it, or maybe smoking crack may add on to some shit that you got going on already. Alright? And to me, I'm lucky. Because I got atrial refibrillation. If anybody knows what the fuck that is, that means I could be sitting here right now, not smoking crack, not doing anything, and my heart will just start going. Boom, 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 boom. I had it since I was a kid, but I know how to control that. You take a deep breath. Anybody that has atrial refibrillation out here, let me tell y'all a little trick that works. You take a deep breath, you hold that motherfucker. And then you push out until you have no air in your lungs, right? And what that does is once you push all the air out in your lungs, your heart has to go boom, boom. It has to restart itself once you push all your air out. So anybody that has atrial refibrillation, instead of taking all that fucking medicine that they have out here... What you do is you go to a quiet place because lots of times the noise and the aggravation around you will keep your shit going. And so what you do is you go to a quiet place. You sit back, you take a deep breath, 
and you fucking, until your lungs can't fucking take it anymore, and then you just blow out. <sighs> until your heart goes bang. Two or three times of this, you'll learn this technique. And anytime you have atrial refibrillation and your heart starts jumping and fuck running for the medicine, the medicine is no good. This is a condition, it's just aggravating. It's not life threatening, but it's an aggravation to you. And this is coming from a nigga that sniffed a lot of cocaine, okay? So, if anything, I should have been overdosed. Because I do have a fucking heart arrhythmia already. So stop putting that shit on my nigga and D. The universe takes care of itself. God takes care of his own, okay? So you'll be all right, my brother. And whatever happens, happens. You and your creator know what the fuck going on. My prayers up to you, brother. But the rest of y'all that never fucking touched a drug in your life, take it from Mr. Fucking Cocaine himself and stop putting that shit out there, all right? Like I said, if anything, it wasn't cocaine or whatever the fuck you say. D had a problem already, okay? That's what the fuck it was. Appreciate y'all. It's your man Shizzle, one time for your mind, two time for your soul. Just trying to educate the people on what the fuck going on. And all you people out there with A-Trip, a, a you know what the fuck I'm saying. Because you got it. Try that technique that I just showed you. And fucking you'll see it'll work. Appreciate you. One time for your mind, two time for your soul. Ain't nothing standing between you, but between you and success, but air and opportunity. It's your man Shizzle with a whistle. Appreciate you.